A week from tomorrow, our skies will fill up with hundreds of balloons for the 50th anniversary of the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. But before you head out there, we want to help you capture the best shots. Julie Frendak and photojournalist Willow Locke are breaking down how to take the perfect pictures. Balloon Fiesta is known as the most photographed event on Earth, and no matter how many times you've been to the launch field, once those balloons start flying, you just can't resist pulling out your phone for the great photo op. But how many times have you gone back through that camera roll to find the pictures and videos just really didn't do the balloons justice? I'm here with KOB4 photographer and really resident creative genius when it comes to <laughs> shooting on an iPhone, Willow Lock, for just some tips on how to really nail the moment this year. So Willow, what is the top thing Thing, top of mind for us amateurs to, to keep in mind when we're at Balloon Fiesta this year. Yeah, so I know that a lot of people can't afford or don't have, or you forget the battery, one thing or another, uh, you don't have a DSLR like this to use. You've got one of these, you got one of these good guys, an iPhone, you have an Android, you have some kind of phone like that. Uh, that said, uh, for Instagram, for TikTok, for social media, a lot of us shoot vertical, which is awesome. I do the same. Uh, we want to you know, we want to do that for social media, but if you want to have something on, on KOB on on our air, my, my personal preference is to hold it horizontally like that. Absolutely, yeah, so we've got our phone the right way, we're out in the field, what's next? What's the, what's the next tip for us? Yeah, so uh, especially something like Balloon Fiesta, we want to make sure that these balloons are properly exposed, because if we have it on, uh, you know, we have a dark sky at 6 a.m. and we're trying to shoot these really bright balloons, well sometimes the phone doesn't know, hey, w where am I supposed to be focusing? Where am I supposed to be exposing? So I've got like, here I've got, that so if I'm f focusing if I'm focusing and exposing on this Nikon which is darker and then you see pretend the phone's a balloon you see it's blown out you don't see all the beautiful colors and stuff on that mm -hmm. but then you you make sure to tap on there you see how it it focuses that focuses that you see all the all the vibrant colors on my other iPhone screen there totally so that all has to do with that little box in the sun right that's yep. what that's what happens there yep that little box there and if you wanted to oh that's another point for in a second <laughs> but you can you can raise the uh, exposure you can lower the exposure like that but usually the phone does a pretty good job of telling you where it needs to be. Perfect. And so what about making the photos really pop? I mean, how do we make sure that our families, our followers really do feel like they're there at Fiesta with us? Yeah, so one of the things that not only for Balloon Fiesta time, but just daily news wise, I, uh, I try to find good things to, to show in the background, in the foreground of pictures. If it's Fiesta, I'll use these again, pretend these are balloons. Uh, you could you could frame the envelope of one balloon up here and have this one thrown out of the background or vice versa have this in focus and that's out of focus but it really draws the eye to what you're trying to show here those that the uh, uh, when when those burners are going and those and those balloons are lit up uh, really exploring your framing and exploring your different lenses if you have a camera an iPhone and Android with different lenses using your wide using your uh, telephoto here all sorts of opportunities with a phone from the past couple years and zoom with your feet if you zoom with your feet that's the best zoom to have other than these what if I want to shoot some video how do I make it look like I'm not really in the middle of some hurricane earthquake natural yeah. disaster yeah so I know uh, with 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 cell phones it's really hard to get stable shots sometimes and and more recent phones do a really good job of uh, of stabilizing a little bit for us um, so a lot of you probably have to shoot like this or like this or something just with these thin frames on on the camera mm -hmm. but uh, my recommendation if you have 10 bucks 15 bucks go to Target get yourself one of these pop sockets it helps awesome. me a lot in in keeping my video stable and my other my other recommendation too is uh, using your whole body using your whole body when you're shooting not just your hands so that it's it's stable it stays in focus it will auto focus if uh, if uh, it will autofocus if you, you know, have it just right in frame like you want it. Yeah, totally. Wow, that looks amazing. And so let's talk quality video. How do I get the best quality? And then also if the perfect photo op actually comes up when you're in the middle of recording, what, what do you do in that case? Yeah, so I'll show you over here. Yeah. So I have my phone on an iPhone at least. You can tap up here. Uh, I'll actually get my phone. 
So you can switch between HD over there, you can okay. switch between 4K, and I prefer the 4K 60. If you have the space on your phone, I really recommend it. And with the other good thing about shooting in 4K, not only from the video aspect, you know, if I'm rolling here mm -hmm. and shooting this, this, this button up here on the top right behind me, you can, you can hit that and punch that perfect picture. Oh, wow. You can punch that perfect picture of the uh, balloon. And if it's in 4K, it's, it's a really high quality picture still and if you're wanting to print pictures later if you're wanting to uh, send pictures on Instagram if you want to send pictures to friends and loved ones yeah um, it's it, that's kind of the best of both worlds when you're shooting video cool good stuff I didn't even know that button existed so all right well thank you so much there's some great tips thank you so we're going to put these photo and video tips on our website for you to reference later, kob.com, if you want to watch them again and practice before Balloon Fiesta begins. We also want to help you and your family be part of the 50th Balloon Fiesta. We're giving out family four packs of tickets all next week, so tune in here to our KOB4 morning show starting at 4.30, Monday through Friday next week. We will tell you the number to call and when to call, and you've got to be the fourth caller to score those tickets. And then look at this. You can also go to Balloon Fiesta in style with Steve Stucker's face. <laughs> the Beds for Kids Balloon Fiesta pins, they are on sale now. We will link this website to ours so you can get yours. Look at you. Oh, and every penny benefits my nonprofit, Beds for Kids. Yeah. And I have to thank the, the Plano Pin Company for making this available through the website. They're $15 plus Five dollars shipping, and you can get up to four pens in an order for just that that one shipping price. Or you can wait and uh, try to buy them at the park. They'll be available for sale there during Fiesta.